Hi guys, this is Madeline and I am here today with a um, viewer requested video. Um, I actually received a request to um, do a video of my favorite um, vintage books, specifically botanical books, but I've got a few at the end that I love that are not specifically um, botanical. So, um, yeah, I just want to go ahead and get started and show you guys some of my favorite books that I use for junk journaling. So, the first one I want to get into is called the Kingfisher Field Guide to the Wild Flowers of Britain and Northern Europe by David Sutton. And this is what the inside looks like. And I'm going to hold this up so you guys can see this information, um, if that helps any at all. And... Um, a lot of these books, by the way, I'll go ahead and just say that I have taken apart because um, that's how I use these books is I take them apart and use them either as pages and junk journals or for ephemera and whatnot. But um, I really love this book because um, the pages, when you take them apart, they're substantial enough that you could actually use this to bind into a signature. Um, I also like that the pages are very robust and substantial, not too shiny. And I just think that they have lovely, lovely colors. And if I'm specifically going with a color theme, I can come in this book and just flip through and find, you know, something that'll match um, the theme of whatever it is I'm working with. So, that's just a quick um, flip through of some of the pages in the Kingfisher Field Guide to the Flowers of Britain and Northern Europe by David Sutton. All right. So, the next one I want to talk about is called the Oxford Book of Wildflowers. And there is the info right here. And um, also, I get a lot, a lot of these books from eBay. I really just go into eBay and I search the title. Oh, look, this has got, that's fun. This came with a dried leaf in it. That's really, really fun. Um, and I search the title and then it'll pop up usually several sellers. And um, anyway, that's how I find um, or purchase my books rather. But again, um, another favorite. I just love the full size um, illustrations. These are nice big pages, gorgeous colors, more of a matte finish, but still a substantial um, page that you can work with in your um, journaling. And so, um, yeah, another, another one of my favorites. Lots of good colors in this one as well. So that is the Oxford Book of Wildflowers. Okay, the next one that should come to no surprise to anybody, but um, is uh, The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady by Edith Holden. I also have a copy of The Nature Notes of an Edwardian Lady by Edith Holden. So um, this is what the jacket of this book looks like. And, um, of course, I've taken it all apart, so I will flip through. And there, this is what the inside looks like with some of the um, information, the publishing information. But anyway, um, I will flip through and you can see some of these. Um, this is a very, very, well, from my experience, a very commonly used um, book in junk journaling in the junk journal world. Um, I personally love the font of this book. And of course the illustrations are just amazing. The color and this particular edition has got some good um, yellowing on the edges, which I really, really like. And um, 
because I'm going to be honest, um, in my experience, you don't always know exactly what you're getting, um, but I have never been uh, displeased. Like in other words, you don't get an exact flip through of the precise book. You just kind of get a general statement about the condition, the quality, et cetera, et cetera. But um, I've never been disappointed. So that is one of the images from the Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady by Edith Holden. So this is again the jacket for this one. So let's take a quick look at uh, the nature notes of an Edwardian lady. I don't know why I can't say that word today. Um, again, Edith Holden, but different enough um, for me to warrant purchasing both books. Again, you have different illustrations different font in the book and I like both fonts equally. I like both illustrations equally. Um, but again, good for different uses. You know, this is really good for, um, you know, binding into journals, but also I like to cut, you know, cut some of these images out and use them for other ephemera pieces. And, you know, another note is I am relatively new to the junk journal world. I maybe have been doing this two to three years and I did not go purchase all of these items at once. I um, really bought them a little bit along, like maybe every month or every couple weeks I would, you know, decide that I would invest in another book to sort of build my stash. Um, this is the Illustrated Book of Wildflowers. And this is a great book because it is a big size book, which, you know, is good for, you know, when I need a bigger size book. Um, I'm sure you'll notice that these books are varying sizes and the um, various sizes to me serve different, you know, functions when I'm crafting or whatnot. Um, this is a great size page that you can fold in half and have in a, um, signature like this, but it's also good for making tags. If you cut this out, you can make a beautiful tag out of this illustration. Um, really, really pretty um, illustrations and also very matte. This is a good matte book. And again, I really got lucky on you know, there is some aging patina to the edges, and I got lucky with this one on that, and that it was in, you know, really, really good condition. But this is a bigger book, and um, another, another good one for your stash. So again, that's the Illustrated Book of Wildflowers, and I'm not sure if there is a, here we go, Octopus Books. And then there's some more information on it. All right. And then um, the final quote, like wildflower book I'm going to show you is Wildflowers of Britain Month by Month by a Margaret Erskine Wilson. Or Erskine, I'm not sure. Um, let's see. I don't have... Oh, here we go. That's the front page of that. And, of course, I've taken the pages out. And... Um, here is this right here. If you want to look at any of the publishing information. And again, gorgeous um, illustrations. Um, one of my favorites for this is to take a page and maybe washi tape it in a journal and use it as a flip. Um, really nice matte pages. It's a smaller size for my smaller journals. This works great in my smaller journals because um, I'm not cutting up a huge page, you know, to try to condense it. It's a smaller image and, um, you know, really, really love all of the um, colors and images and drawings throughout. So that is Wildflowers I've written month by month. Okay. 
And then these are like three bonus books I'm just going to talk about quickly. Um, the first one is, uh, I can't find the jacket, but it's Birds of the World and is painted by 19th century artists. And um, again, another good, big, large size book for big pages. But um, let's see if I can find, okay, I've got Birds of the World. Um, this is a great, very, very thick, robust um, pages in this book. Um, very, very matte um, and not a lot of words and things on them, just a lot of really beautiful illustrations. And um, I have used, I have pulled from this book for um, like summer um, themed junk journals. I've taken like coastal birds out and put them in, you know, certainly going into fall. Um, there are a lot of beautiful fall books, but you can see here, there's also some very colorful, more tropical birds. Um, like how pretty would this be in a fall junk journal? You know, just that kind of um, farmhouse style. Um, again, I really, really love this. And the first five I purchased off of um, eBay. Now this one I happened to find at a thrift store or um, you know, secondhand store or something like that. But I'm sure that you could find it on eBay or you know, from a bookseller or something like that if you were um, interested. So this is Birds of the World. It's painted by 19th century artists. Yeah, that one's really, really pretty. Look how pretty that is. I love that illustration. Okay, so moving along. Um, this is a real, this was a really fun find. Um, I found this at a, um, I guess a flea market um, near where my daughter went to summer camp a few years ago. And um, this is Hammond's Nature Atlas of America. Okay. And it's got 320 original paintings. All right. And then this has got some of the information of the, the printing and whatnot. And um, again, look at this font. Beautiful. Nice, beautiful big pages. I love the color of the pages. But oh my goodness. Look at this. So pretty. Look at these illustrations. Gorgeous illustrations. And, um, but not just flowers. You've got all kinds of different beautiful bird illustrations in here. Um, let's see. You've got animals in here as well. Look how, oh, this would be cute in a Halloween junk journal. Cute for fall. Little squirrel. Lots of animals, and then also um, fish, lots of fish. I did um, go through and use some of these in my, again, my summertime, more summertime junk um, journals. I've pulled out, you know, the coastal fish and whatnot, but just really pretty um, illustrations. And let's see what else. Oh, insects. So you've got some nice butterflies. Um, I mean, and this book has a way, I mean, in my opinion, of taking something that's not very, you know, pretty or nice and making it look, you know, really, really beautiful. Like this is a, you know, a wasp, for example, which you probably typically wouldn't want to put in a junk journal. But I mean, this just looks very honeycomb and vintage. And, you know, I just uh, think it's, and even the ants. I mean, look, there's cute little um, mushrooms on the ant photo. So, um, yeah, this is just a really, I think, a unique book, and I um, had to grab it when I found it. Um, let's see if there's other sections. Yes, okay, Minerals and Rocks. So, if you were maybe doing, um, like, a journal for, like, outside or camping or something like that, some of these pages might be fun, you know, to include. And I believe all of these things, or most of these things, are indigenous to um, North America. So, all right. 
So there's that book. And again, that is um, Hammond's Nature Atlas of America. And then last, but certainly not least, is this Reader's Digest Wide World Atlas. Um, I believe I found this at a thrift shop as well. But, um, oh my heavens, such beautiful, beautiful, big pages. Gorgeous big pages. Colorful pages. Um, this is a great book to pull from for just about, I mean, I would say any kind of journal, but I mean, look at that. It's gorgeous and travel journals and um, it's just, I mean, these, these are just huge, beautiful map pages. Uh, a little bit shinier, but they are very, very um, robust. So you could really, you know, attach photos to them. You can glue things to them, you know, put in, envelope, a flip, something, and it would definitely um, hold and withstand all of that. So, very, very, very nice big pages. And I believe this one, I may have some of these listed in my shop, some of these pages. If I do, I'll put a link um, down below. Also, I love these kinds of pages in my journals. These kind of index pages, I just think they're so unique. You can just, you know, I just love the uniqueness of these pages. I don't know why, I guess it's just my taste. But anyway, so um, that's it. These are some of my favorite um, books I love to use in my crafting and my junk journals. And um, y'all let me know which one you like the best. And um, I hope you enjoyed this and have a great day. Bye guys.